Okay, let's take a look at C2 or the axis, okay, second cervical. So again, kind of like the atlas, how it looks totally different than all the other typical vertebra, C2 looks totally different as well, okay? Right off the bat, this big giant honking knobby thing that we see up top here, that's referred to as the dens or the odontoid process, okay? Odontoid means tooth-like as it sticks up there. And that dens sticks right off the vertebral body. So C2 then is the first vertebra that has a body. Remember C1 just had two lateral masses. Okay? If we look at a superior to inferior view, we can see the transverse processes coming out on either side, okay? just like you would find on a typical cervical. And then also, as you would expect to find, you have transverse foramen on either of those sides. Okay? The superior articular processes, you have a right and a left, the flat parts of the facet. That's going to articulate with C1, remember? And we flip this over and look at an inferior view. And on the inferior view, we see the inferior articulating processes and facets. Okay? Again, C2 has a vertebral body. And then the opening right down the center of there again is your vertebral foramen. Okay? What I'm grabbing here on the posterior aspect, we look at it from this side. This is your spinous process. Okay? And that's C2.